for our next story here, I let's get through this one together. I'm going to try to get through this one without laughing. I guess I kind of understand now why he likes it so much. But this is Elon Musk's farting unicorn, which is not. It's not Elon Musk's farting unicorn. It's just a illustration of a farting unicorn that Elon Musk really, really, really likes. And supposedly, Elon Musk had a mug made up of this farting unicorn. And he uses this is his favorite mug or something, and he, he, is, it like keeps it at his desk, and, and he, he tweeted about it, and the creator sold 100 mug, coffee mugs because of, of Elon Musk's tweet. But then it turns out that there is an icon of a farting unicorn that shows up in the Tesla vehicle operating system. And I think Tom Edwards is a little bit upset that he didn't get asked if he'd like to be in the Tesla operating system. There was a Twitter exchange between Lisa Prank and Elon Musk where Elon, Elon claims that there was a sketch that was done by his team as a joke. They didn't tell him it was meant to be a, a, a hidden feature and he didn't realize it was being put in by his team. So he apologizes for accidentally using something very similar. I don't know if it's actually substantially similar or not. I don't have the Tesla icon, but something similar to the farting unicorn icon. And he offers to change the icon in, if, if, if Tom Edwards wants. And if I recall correctly, did someone say that eventually Elon tired of the thing and blocked the person? Yes, so um, Lisa Prank, I believe, is the daughter. And yeah, so she. Uh, yeah, she's the daughter. She had an exchange with him, and um, Elon Musk had one story, which was that they had offered money or they had offered to change um, the image. And she had another saying that nobody had reached out to her father. And uh, then he blocked her. Well, I could also see, and I'm not defending him at all. Um, but blocking is the way that you keep people from tagging you. In other words, if Elon Musk tired of the conversation, he could have just muted her, right? right? But then he could still be tagged. If Elon blocks the two of them or one of them, then they can't tag Elon Musk's account in their social media campaign, which is sort of what it becomes these days. It's, it works. It's like the only thing that works these days. I can't see... I, 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 did, I could not get any support from PayPal until I... I tweeted about how shitty the, their customer service was. I did not get a lot of support from Adobe until the their account saw that I had 7,000 followers. So I, I don't know what it is with companies these days, but they don't seem to like customer service. But that's not a good thing. Like Elon Musk blocking this person so that they can't participate in a conversation is kind of shitty. However, you know, that's not the full story. I don't know what the rest of Elon's side is. And... I just thought that maybe what we could do is talk about the copyright side of it. If a farting unicorn icon shows up in the Tesla operating system without Tom Edwards' permission, is that copyright infringement? And I'm going to say probably. And here's where I'm going with that. Copyright infringement is either actual copying, so if there was actual copying of this exact farting unicorn, then... Yeah, that's, that's copyright infringement. Or it could be that the design team, according to Elon, made a mock-up that made it into the final Easter egg or something. Okay. Well, if they made a mock-up, maybe they drew the mock-up. If they drew the mock-up, what did they draw? I don't know. Maybe someone has a, a copy of this icon. Um, let me see if I can look it up. Tesla farting unicorn icon. Okay, here it is. Oh, yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm sorry, I take it all back. I take it all back, guys. If this is the image. It's, is it actually take it all back. the unicorn? It's the actual image. <laughs> 
So you are with- yeah, so I was about to go into access plus substantial similarity and how it could be that they drew a different image and that it just, you know, maybe it's similar but not substantially similar. Nope, that's that's the actual image, guys. Uh, that's but this image. It's not a mock-up. I mean, that's not a mock-up. That's the image. That's, that's, I'm sorry, guys. That's copyright infringement. That's, there's no question in my mind. It might be accidental copyright infringement. Elon is not, does not have no case, but he should be reaching out to Tom Edwards to give him some kind of credit. Perhaps even a low-end Model 3 would be nice, but those don't exist yet. (laughs) So... I, I don't know how they'll resolve this one, but that's really funny to me. That's the story of Elon Musk's farting unicorn copyright infringement. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's guilty as charged there, but uh, I'm also pretty sure that he can afford to pay Tom the proper licensing fee for that. Yeah, I would accept a Model 3 as a, as a licensing fee, for sure. Yeah, I would too. Even a base, a base Model 3 is fine with me. And everybody, don't forget that uh, after our show, you can go see Black Leaf's Justice, Sken- Justice Kennedy, Justice Kennedy retirement video on YouTube. And uh, don't forget that I put out the Lexmark video finally. So thank you everyone for joining me. That's going to be our show today. Thank you very much to our July supporters. Kareem Harper is supporting at the 500 level still. Thank you very much, Kareem. I'll be in touch very shortly. Uh, Thank you very much to the $50 plus supporters. Jonathan Doe, John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Andy, Kyle Mudrock, Johnny Janderson, Vera Mentane, Sean McNamara, William Gonzalez, Michael Pierce, Terry Crisp, and Grunkle Tia Marie. Thank you very much for your support, as well as the $5 plus supporters who are scrolling on the LED panel behind me and will get a nice long uh, scroll time here during the closing of these videos as we do. This week, I'm hoping to get the Jamie Walton interview edited. We have more information. There's been an appeal in the Bob Murray versus John Oliver case. So we're putting that together for you. That should be really fun to see what he has to say and compare that to what the court said and see who looks like a giant squirrel. So we'll find out about that. Anyway, you guys have a great Sunday. Stay cool. It's only 104 degrees here Fahrenheit, and uh, we're going to go try and not melt. Love you all. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and I'll see you in the videos.